Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy 12 where I bet you weren't expecting this unless I already mentioned it. Maybe I did, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I have been really wanting to get back into this game and since we finished, um, freaking, what game did we finish? We finished Horizon Forbidden West and uh, I am currently in the waiting room. I'm trying to get down here. Oh, okay. Uh, we're currently in the waiting room actually for Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I decided I didn't want to start anything crazy, but also I've been wanting to really play uh, Final Fantasy 12 again. I actually downloaded the entire playlist that I had done uh, up to this point, and I watched a chunk of it, but then I mostly, honestly, um, did like what read a read a summary up until this point um and i did an intro earlier but it was just me standing around but now as you can see i am running around uh that is because i don't have any teleport stones i know it has been a year and a half so most of us probably don't remember i certainly didn't remember a lot of the stuff um that was going on uh so i did read a summary of the story of the narrative up until this point and i watched oh my gosh i did watch a certain amount and honestly it was actually really fun to watch the beginning uh because uh i was just so happy like i, I was doing the live stream i remember and like i was just having a grand old time with my pals and like just this game is so like fantastical uh and like I, I just love it, like the whole like airships and magic and like steampunky stuff. Anyway, um, I don't have any teleport stones, and I just looked it up. You cannot get teleport stones until you go to Mount Burr Omaise. I, I don't know how to say it, but it's where we were just at. So now some shops will sell uh, teleport stones, but we are not near any of those. Um, can I get through here? And so. <laughs> I have to run here. Shall I sh shall I show you? Hang on. At least for now, I have to run. We were here, right? And now I, we have to run all the way up to here to Rabanastre because apparently there's a shop in Rabanastre uh, that will sell them. Oh, and I guess sorry, I was I redid my in, my in, my what is it my intro because I thought it would I would be more condensed and make more sense, but I am not. So for those of you who are like me, not remembering and not wanting to go through the entire playlist I had up until this point. We were here at the Mount Burr Omaisi. Uh, we need to get all the way up to Arcades. Uh, so I have to run at least all the way to Rabanastre and then potentially, hopefully, buy um, what I'm the teleport stones that I'm looking for. So a quick story summary up to this point. I hope this is making sense. Uh, we... We were just, we just defeated one of the judges who went insane because he had Nethocyte like bound into his bones because the Empire has been doing these experiments um, on, well, they've been experimenting with the Nethocyte, which is like the super magic crystal that apparently like, um, what do you call it, like mist comes out, still don't really know what mist is. Uh, but yeah, so we, what I remember from uh, what, it, what is recent and what I just read is that we, Ash was thinking about entering into a peace negotiation because Larsa, who is the second prince of the of the empire that invaded Damasco, which is our country, well, that Vons and, um, where am I going? Vons and uh, Pinello's country. I, is this not, sorry, I'm in our time C? Oh, here. Um, hopefully, Bosch comes with us. Okay, good. Um, so, sorry, really quick, let me double check the world map. We need to go to the Azuman plane. This way. Yeah, this is fine. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Anyway, sorry, we are. Okay, so yeah, Larsa. Well, maybe I should start at the beginning. So, Vane assassinated his father, the Emperor, the Emperor who invaded Damascus and all these other places and they're trying to create like a vast empire, right? Vane assassin- Vane, the first prince, who was the like ruling sort of, um, Damascus, um, he has had all these machinations going on 
and killed his father. I vaguely remember thinking maybe his father actually wanted it that way, but I'm not 100% sure just from the way they were talking. Um, but he killed his dad regardless, and he blamed the Senate for it, and so now um, he is taking full control, and Larsa, the younger uh, prince, whose friends like become really friendly with Pinello, um, was taken by the judge. He was trying to help us. We were working together because Larsa wants to see everybody get along, essentially. Um, do, have I not been through this area? It's all grayed out. Um, so he really wanted to see everybody getting along. I'm not really sure. Oh my gosh, that looks not good. Um, <laughs> ah, it doesn't look good at all. But he was taken away by the judge in order to prevent the to prevent trouble. But turns out one of the judges uh, decided to make trouble anyway and killed everybody. You know, saying if you worship the gods, you know you will fall, and we are the gods now. And blah blah blah. blah you know, stuff like that. Um, so Ash, who had been considering peace in order to save her her people after we've done all the shenanigans with the Dawn Shard and the Dusk Shard and we've got this sword that can destroy Nethysite and these are all like remnants of her like birthright essentially um, from the original like the Dynast King, King Wraithwall she uh, was like you know full of bloodlust and vengeance which I love, love to see, love to see it and but you know tempered that because she thought peace would she was convinced that peace would be better for her people turns out that is not the case uh, apparently because now with the emperor dead and Vane on the throne Larsa doesn't think he can convince Vane he was gonna try to convince the emperor to like be cool to be chill and uh, let Damascus rule itself as an ally um, so now we're not really sure what's gonna happen with Larsa um, but he's essentially it seems like an ally in a way and, um, but now Ash has decided it's, uh, vengeance is back on the menu, right? And we can't destroy, we decided for whatever reason that she's not going to use the Nethysite destroying sword on the current, um, oh no, this way's good, um, on the current shard that we have because her husband, her dead husband popped up in vague spirit form and was like, don't do it. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and so, anyway, I'm giving you this brief, hopefully, sort of brief-ish summary on things. Because, uh, like like me, I don't think many of you are going to remember the, the specificities from a series that ended, or not ended, but like went on a hiatus, essentially, like a year and a half ago. So, I'm not even sure. I know that this was not one of my most popular ones. So, hopefully... Uh, those of you who do watch it, enjoy it. As I said, this is kind of a, a waiting room for Baldur's Gate. <laughs> so, um, and also, as, as, a, as another aside, as I just keep running, we're almost to Robin Astra. This, this hasn't taken as long as I feared. Um, oh, hey, stuff. Um, I am recording out of my vehicle. Can I not? Aha! You can't flee and get treasure at the same time. It was at this point while I was recording this, like, live, that I was like, nope, this is actually just a really terrible, like, intro again. I'm just gonna redo it. But I think I did alright, honestly. The only thing I needed to add to expand upon was that I am, as you can tell, well, kind of tell, I'm recording in my vehicle for this, for this episode and maybe for a couple more, um, which I ended up not doing anymore because it was, the game's just too big and I think it was just causing a little bit too much of a frame rate drop. Uh, on occasion, so I'm not doing that anymore, but at the time I was recording in the car Which meant you could probably hear like the AC going or the car rumbling or something You know like just like you know the sound of a vehicle being on because the vehicle has to be on In order for me to power my laptop while it runs like six programs simultaneously, so <laughs> um, I was also a little sick at the time. I don't know if you could tell but I also have a note to myself to include that so um but yeah, hopefully you guys are, you know, 
excited to see some more Final Fantasy. I am planning on editing the crap out of it. It's going to be much less running around. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to be sad about that, <laughs> but I decided like I do want to play it more. Uh, it's just not really feasible for me to record in a vehicle because the recordings are going to be so massive and I'm only going to be able to get a little bit of usable footage out of each one. Um, so it's not very efficient for me to do while I'm recording, you know, in an inefficient place. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this while we wait for Baldur's Gate 3. Just gonna play this for a bit and have a good time. And I hope the story summary made sense. So, uh, the recording, the live recording, will pick back up in a second. Okay, well, apparently, I don't, I'm not gonna buy... He did say we have to go on foot, so I guess there's that. I'm not gonna buy teleport stones, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I'm just, for now, I'm just gonna flee, honestly. Oh wait, we get stiff. Well, as far as I know, like resource-wise, like I, I don't, know what I need. I, I look pretty good. I checked my inventory. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> she, <coughs> she walked right through the thing. Oh my gosh. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so my plan right now is also to just, um, run through everything until I reach a point where I can no longer run, like where I reach a battle where it's like I'm obviously under leveled. Uh, that's my plan. That's my my strategy for this for now. Oh my gosh, it's raining out right now. I'm hoping I'm hoping everything is not gonna explode. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm just so concerned. I say as the game freaking has a hard time. <clears throat> Alright, so I had to stop the recording for a bit. What? Don't step on it, please. Uh, because I am trying no, stop. Yay, okay, run. Uh, I had to stop the recording because the videos are pretty big. The video files are pretty big, it seems. And I don't want my computer to overheat too much. I might have to give it a break soon, honestly. <coughs> it, uh, I was, I was concerned. I was like, hmm, I hope never, everything doesn't explode. And then it started to freaking explode. And I was like, oh, okay, oh, jeez. Okay, this, this area is definitely packs a bigger hit. When I was running through the other areas, it was not nearly as, as concerning, but... We're, uh, oh my gosh, Pinello's health. It's probably not worth it. Oh, let's go. Oh, jeez. Let's hope I'm going to the right way. I know that this was the town that he mentioned, that Balthair mentioned. Which also, hello, Balthair again. Oh, are we not? Okay. Um. Well, map. We the the highways, and then we need to find like the sands. But I don't have maps for this area, so I'm just heading north as best I can. And I won't make you guys watch all of it in excruciating detail. But here we go. We're, just, we're gonna. Once I start also getting my butt kicked is when I'll probably have to stop and turn around. This game actually isn't great for recording in the car because it's actually take, oops. Oh, geez, I don't know where to go now. Uh, because um, what's best to record in the car is like short, easy episodes and Final Fantasy is not that. There are, I think when I la last listened to like one of the last couple episodes that I recorded, I spent like three hours grinding to in order to beat that particular fight, like one of the fights that we were in. I don't remember which one. But I had to go grind for like three hours so that we could do it. Um, but until I get to my butt, what? We're in a town now? 
because we're in we're with Vaughn. I mean, I guess if I could find a map guy, I would like to buy a map. What? Shrine. A strange scent permeates the air. Okay. There's little map friends. As for like this stuff too, I'm like, no, no, no. Render all allies invisible. I own a lot. I also don't know like if there was any gambits that I wanted. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think I'm okay. Also, apparently there's like an aerodome <laughs> where you can buy passage. Uh oh. Uh, you can buy passage to... the place we want to go, but I feel like they wouldn't let me do that because both of you specifically said we needed to go on the ground. The recordings were doing pretty well at the beginning, but I'm starting to have a little bit of issues with it again. I'm honestly kind of tempted, we'll have to see how the recordings go, but I don't think this game like super benefits from being in 60 FPS. I could just put it down to 30 and maybe that would help. Um, but I do like, I do like seeing it shiny. There we go, I knew it had to be one of these little guys. Alright, we have a map. Good. Oh! There's a giant bomb. Okay, okay. He's like, it's like, oh yeah, a little, there's a bomb. I'm like, oh! That's cool. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, and I don't know um, if anybody does continue to watch this and doesn't know. I do take advice. Like I'm not above, like not taking advice. Even for like Dragon Age, like I'll take advice on builds, and that's a game I know pretty well. Um, so if, if anybody does have things where they're like, hey, this would be a good way to do something, I'll be like. Sweet hot diggity. I do read about I do read all the comments. I don't always get to respond to them in a timely manner. Um, but I do read them. So and I will try to respond. Oh. Oh, I like this. It's nice. I'm fleeing. All right, this was all the directions I got was Salika Wood and the High Waste. So, uh, both the air, I expect an appearance soon. Oh, something? I was, okay, I was warned about bombs again by the little Magola. I guess she didn't look at the name. Awesome though. Welcome back to Final Fantasy, that's time to fight a boss, apparently. Oh my gosh. And again, like I said, I'm just gonna... I am just going to do... Oh no, oh! <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not do anything uh, until I get my butt kicked. And apparently this is butt kicking time. Oh. <laughs> it, it didn't help that she was on... Um, she got oil on her. How do we... Okay. Oh. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, that's incredible. Welcome back to Final Fantasy! <laughs> okay, so I just spent the last, like, 30, 40 minutes running around being like, I'll level people up, like, you know. It'll be fun. And uh, turns out uh, that this, this bomb boss is an optional boss and he's level 34. And I'm, I'm just not interested. I'm not interested. So we're gonna keep going. And I've got my favorite people all picked out here. But yeah, I, for some reason I was like, oh, this is the way you have to go through. It is not. But I can't buy a map from that little <clears throat> little mouse. 
Uh, but it was nice to get uh, some practice again in in fighting. I mean, I guess I guess we might as well. The problem I've run into again is that uh, in large groups, uh, Balthier, whoever's got steel on, um, tries to steal from everybody that doesn't have like that has 100% health. Hey. Uh, visitor, we're here working on the gate up ahead. Well, not actually right now. Right now we're resting. Okay, I think these guys were supposed to be going back and working. I also did see... Where did I go? I saw an interesting... I think it was over here. There was something like an interesting looking gate. And I was, I was curious what it was, but I wasn't recording at the time because I thought I was going to be grinding for a couple hours. But if it's an optional boss, I'm not going to do it. I just hope it's not too indicative of what we're going to find ahead. But it probably is. Although this doesn't look like the correct way. Probably should have gone the other way, so let's go back. I was hoping to do something exciting story-wise for this episode. <laughs> Who knows how long it is at this point and we haven't really done anything. But that, that was a lot of Final Fantasy, although I think I will probably edit that out. A lot of the running around in the future. Because I like to watch people like running around and grinding like, you know, mobs and stuff like that. But I do think that that also works better as a, as a live stream thing. Cause then you can like interact and talk with people and you're just kind of vibing. But for this one, well, a dang, actually, it looks like. Man, I wish I could buy a map for the area. All right, here we are. At this gate. Okay, I, I don't know how to get the others to come back. Oh, n maybe now that I, okay, now that I have the quest, I can get them to come back. I don't really want to go to the coast, though. As far as I know. Oh good, they've marked them. Alright, well there were f at least four over there. Well they've marked them in places I've been, it looks like, so maybe if there might be a few more. So now I just gotta run around... I, I just kinda wanna flee, honestly. Like I should probably be leveling up, but uh... I just wanna go. Oh, here we go. Now they're gonna go. You guys, what do you mean? We're just on arbitrary break and they just run into the forest? Wish I could do that. This guy was very well spoken. I didn't read it out loud, but he was like, forsooth, essentially. I found all the Moogles! Yes, take me to the gate. I'm hoping that when I look at the big map, it looks like it's going to be easier to take a water route to Arcades. So I'm hoping the coast will open up like a water route for us. Oh, 
Now that all my apprentices are back, the repairs took no time at all. Kubo witnessed the power of Moogles. Yeah, once once you once you actually start doing it, it goes the work goes pretty fast. Many many work many hands make light work. Whatever whatever. <laughs> blah blah blah. Wow, they're uh, they're also just standing there. Ooh, a sash. But the local's not so pretty. Okay. The necro hall of Nabuda snacks. The monsters weren't trapped out there. Someone should sort them out. Well, I can't. Oh. They're doing more repair in different places too. Oh my gosh! Look at look at these. Look at them all going to different places. What a what a wide array of individuals. I was hoping one of them would give me a map. The coast. Not that anyone told me I needed to go to the coast, so hopefully I'm going the right way. It would seem we made the right choice. Oh, good. <laughs> if we'd taken the easy way and come by airship, one of those patrols would no doubt have been quick to roll out the red carpet. We're on the Empire's doorstep now, so we shouldn't have to worry quite so much. But that's no excuse to get sloppy. All right. It is still a long road to the capital. He's, he's kind of the unofficial in-charge guy. I think Bosch would technically be in charge, but like Bosch also doesn't really want to be in charge. And he's caught up in his moral dilemmas, whereas Balthier is not. Balthier is a man of action. Oops. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and call that here because I don't actually know. I think I've recorded like an hour or more of, of, of stuff and not much has happened such is the way of things but everything all happens at once is the thing like you're like la 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 running around and then BAM a gazillion things happen all at once so anyway I guess I will say thank you all so much for joining me I appreciate it um, Really, if you're watching this again, I, I it is it is very kind of you. I actually I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'll keep up doing this one because I guess if it's not I don't know I want to play it, but if it's not like super popular to watch, not super popular, but like people aren't super interested in watching it, I will potentially not just stop uploading it or just upload it again someday when I have oodles of time. Um, but for now, I it's good to be back playing this game. I'm. It's nice to kind of get back to something that's a little more of my roots, I guess, with like Bioware-ish games. This game is, is highly reminiscent of that. Um, so anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and um, just super awesome. And thank you so much, my friend, for your support. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who I finally made that tier. In the, in the Patreon. I don't know if it worked very well because I think I was doing it in the field. But anyway, someday uh, you'll get something cool. I have ideas. So uh, <laughs> thank you so, so much for your above and beyond support. Truly, it means a lot. And I love reading your comments. Um, they're just, they bring me joy. So thank you so much again for your support. And I hope to see you all in the next one.